Hey guys, today is March 30th, 2010, and uh, wanted to bring up a thing I read on the internet um, on while I was going through my news feeds, and just um, I found this thing. Let me show you right here. Google has been sued for. Let's see here. Okay, woman follows. Google Maps walking directions gets hit and sues. Okay, well, so I will zoom this in through better read, and of course I will provide a link in the description. Is Google responsible for giving out bad directions through its Google Maps service? We're about to find out after Googling walking directions for this trip to Park City, Utah, Lauren Rosenberg claims she was led onto a busy highway where she had was struck in by a vehicle. She is now suing Google for damages. Now she was led onto a highway. Who led her on? Who led her on? Did the Google direction say, "Well, you know something? There's no other way to get around here, but this way. You cannot take any back roads. You have to take the highway." Yes. Did the Google directions mislead her and take her onto a highway? No. But did she not look at the Google directions? Did she just look at, say, "Okay, this to this," and print them out? always good idea to look over the directions and even if you're not completely familiar with it see oh yeah well I don't like you know look at it and just tell and just say oh well not completely familiar with this area but say oh well this is a highway um Rosenberg is used Google Maps on January oh, first of all she's suing for the eleven thousand dollars and damages Rosenberg used Google Maps on January 19, 2009 via her BlackBerry to get the directions between 96 Daly Street, Park City, Utah, and 1710 Prospector Avenue, Park City, Utah. Google provided these telling uh, provided these telling her as part of the route to walk for about half a mile along the calm sounding Deer Valley Drive. Now, yes. I have to agree with her and say Deer Valley Drive does sound pretty calm. But that's not Google's fault. That's the people who name the freaking highway. Okay. It's an alternative name for the section Utah State Route 224. So the actual name is 220, uh, Route 224. But it's Deer Valley Drive. So I think they should rename that anyway. Tom should get sued for having a stupid uh, calm sounding name. Not Google's fault for that. Defendant Google, through its Google Maps service, provided plaintiff Lauren Rosenberg with walking directions that led her out onto Deer Valley Drive, aka State 224, a highway with no sidewalks and no roadway that exhibits. Mo uh, oh yeah, and a roadway that exhibits motor vehicles driving at high rates of speed. That is reasonably. That is not reasonably safe for pedestrians. I would think any road that you travel on that doesn't have sidewalks would be unreasonably safe. And it should say, oh, well, at your own risk. You know, you should be, it should be common sense to say, well, I should be careful. If you get hit by a car, you sue the guy that hit you. You don't sue Google and the guy who hit you. It's not Google's fault. By law, it could be Google's fault. But I disagree with that completely. As a direct and proximate cause of the defendant Google uh, careless, uh, Google is being charged with carelessness, recklessness, and negligence providing in unsafe directions. I don't see how it's reckless. They're not being reckless. They're not being, ne well, maybe negligent. Uh, providing unsafe directions. They did provide unsafe directions. Maybe. Uh, was led on to dangerous highway and was therefore therefore thereby hit, struck by a motor vehicle. So there's there's the story. She struck by a motor vehicle and now she's suing. Well, sue the guy that hit you because he wasn't watching. He was on his cell phone or whatever. You don't need to sue Google for something you should have had common sense for. Maybe the maybe the vehicle swerved and hit her. Well, that's not Google's fault either. You know. So, I don't know the whole story of if the car did that or something like that, but uh, whatever happened, that was bad. Um, this is the route that they gave her. As you can see, it's going from, let's see, point A is all the way down here. 
Main Street. Now, first of all, I don't know why you'd walk this far. There, there's your now look how close this is look how close that is I mean that doesn't look I mean it looks like a far away on the map but I'm sure it's I'm sure she's walked that or gone by car with that distance before and she obviously knows oh this is a highway right next to her freaking house is a freaking highway and should obviously realize that if she goes down here goes all the way through here that this is gonna connect to a highway there's obvious signs that when you start walking onto a highway it says oh my god there's a highway it's obvious it goes all the way up and I mean she would have had to follow this all the way through here so she's obviously known this is a highway or she's on either a highway or a road that's unsafe or something okay now Look here where it says walking directions are in beta. Use caution. This route may be misleading sidewalks or uh, or be missing sidewalks or pedestrian paths. So, really, Google cannot be sued for this until we read on. Okay, we've already read that part. That would seem to negate part of the suit's claim. Because, really, how can Google sue for any more than that? Except that... Rosenberg used a BlackBerry. No, uh, this is the fun part. The BlackBerry version of Google Maps might not have ha carried this warning. I do. Uh, he he says that he doesn't have a BlackBerry. He has an iPhone, but the iPhone does not carry that warning on there either. Uh, certainly seems embarrassing for Google routing people on a on busy highways when expectedly used the walking directions option. But they're saying that Bing has done the same thing as well. But again, Bing does have that same caution thing. That's his caution. May route may be misleading, uh, missing sidewalks or other paved or other uh, paths for walking. So, if the BlackBerry didn't have that warning on it, Google can be charged by law for that problem. But she, but then she, I don't know if she'd get the money from being hit by the car because, again, it's not Google's fault that she got hit by a car. Google just said, well, let's go into this highway. Again, let's look at this highway. Look at the directions here. Obviously, you would think, well, obviously there is a highway next across. Look at this. There you go. This is this is Route 224 all the way up here. Obviously. Whoa. Okay, so this is obviously a highway. So why could you have not walked all the way down here and took in this street over here? Or took in the street over here, or took in the street over here, and you know, or you could, you know, I mean, seriously, you could walk here, and then walk the rest of the way until like, let's see here, let's see, let's see how we can get here. Okay, take this way up here, walk this way. She still has to keep walking, go past here, and I'm sure there's a road that re leads to here. And leads there because you can see the crossroads right here so I mean there's ways to get to her location not the highway and or this route and she obviously knows that this route is here it's across from her house so she shouldn't be suing Google she should and like like most people say can't fix stupid and stupid people are gonna try and get away with shit like this but please Tell me in the description, in the underbar, what you think of this case, who's going to win, and you really think it's uh, stupid for somebody to be suing Google for this something so as stupid as something they can use their brain for? Because I think it's pretty stupid. And, I mean, seriously, what the fuck?